Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to focus on the connections tab and get some key insights. I have highlighted few points on the docs.uipart.com for the connection tab. We are going to discuss on it in detail. So why delay? Let's get started. So we are going to focus on the connections tab. So what are the important points for the connection tab? I'm going to discuss. This is available in the integration service documentation and I am in the connection tab. I am going to pass this link in the video description. Now what is important to understand? Connections help in establishing tasks between single users and external applications. So when I am creating a connection, it gives me access, single user and external. So previously I have created I have highlighted a point. Connections are created and updated are specific to the user and the platform. And it can be created in the modern folders only. Now look at it. So you might be slightly confused here. Okay, what is the meaning of the single user and external application? For that, go through this. So first, how you do it? You open Automation Cloud and then you open Integration Service. And these are the three different tabs. By default, the Connector tab is selected. In my folders, for example, you have these folders. Let me show you. So you have my folders. All the folders are listed where you have access to. It says in the my folder section, you can select whether you wanted to work in your personal workspace. So you have your personal workspace. Or in a shared folder where created connection can be used by all users that have access to the folder. So here, if you see, this is my personal workspace, the, which, the one which is my workspace is my personal workspace. If I'm creating a connection here, I'll be having access to it. Let's say these are all shared folders, including the shared. One, there are multiple people having access to this finance folder. Okay, um, let's say HR department, IT department. So these are the folders where multiple people have access to. So these are all shared folders, shared with multiple people. So what are the documents in saying? If you are creating a connection on a shared folder, where created a connection can be used by all users that have access to the folder. So remember this point, when you are creating a connection in a shared folder, it could be shared or it could be any other folder with a name which is shared with multiple people. So if you are creating a connection there, it can be used by all users that have access to the folder. They can use the use it in their workflows. Okay. All right. Now look at this shared connection. When a connection is created in a shared folder, so shared folder doesn't mean just this. Any folder where people have access to, multiple people have access to, that becomes a shared folder. Created a shared folder. All users with the access to the folder can use the connection in their automation workflows. Very important point. Also, the connection can be edited by all users with access to it. So they have access to the folder. So if they open integration service, come to connection, they also will have access to edit the connection. So they can use in their UAPA Studio workflows that connection and they can also edit the connection if you are creating a connection in this. This is a very important point question can be framed on these points okay now let's move on and renaming a connection how you do it so you go to connection tab and then you can simply click on this open it and edit this so you can rename it you know how to change the polling interval from here by clicking on this change the polling interval that I've discussed earlier okay and multi authentication what is that multi authentication I'll show you for example, if I open a connector, that's a service now I'm opening. Now, if I hit on connect to service now, what happens here in this uh, settings icon, change authentication type. So here, if you see, this is selected to OAuth, open authentication, where it is asking for client ID, client secret. I can change it. For example, basic if I make, it is asking for username and password. So I might be having access to my ServiceNow uh, instance with a username and password. You can pass that one as well. 
so multi authentication multiple way or way to authenticate yourself okay so that's all it, it was talking about integrate service click on this star icon change the authentication type and all that okay so i felt that is the important point in this documentation i'll pass this link go to go through this entire documentation yourself and see if you feel any other points that you feel are important you can still go through and learn around that so thank you guys for watching let's meet once again in the next video and please do let me know if this video was helpful for you or not please do comment and let me know thanks for watching